Hi, I'm Kenna Johnson from The Channel Company here with Matt York, CEO of The Channel Company, and Mark Williams, Senior Consultant from iPad. Thank you so much for joining me, both of you. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Let's just jump right into it. Let's talk about the study. Why haven't solution providers seen a significant impact so far with AI? So I think there's a couple of reasons. One is the reality is that Gen AI is pretty new. So people are still trying to figure out what they can do. The second is customers are still experimenting, right? So, you know, solution providers are trying to work with the customers and the customers are not necessarily ready to deploy as much, so they're still experimenting. And I think a lot of what the solution providers are doing is they're not, they're more investigating right now than they are investing. And the reason is because they're trying to figure out what their offering should look like, but that will change. Now let's move forward to the next year or two ahead. What do you predict? Oh, geez, predictions. Uh, I think there's a tidal wave coming, not because we predicted, but because I think that's what everybody's seeing. It's kind of like the same thing we saw with the internet. Um, what we see today is not exactly what it ended up being, but it changed everyone's lives. That's probably gonna happen here. And I think it's gonna take time, right? So it does take a little bit of time for all this to happen. Um, solution providers are working on it. They're experimenting. Here's what's gonna happen. Experimentation will end up becoming experience and they'll be able to deploy that with their customers probably in the next 12 to 18 months. Now, for those solution providers that are seeing significant impact, what are they investing in? So a couple things. So if you have large customers, you're already ahead of the game. So they're investing in how do we help large customers? Uh, data projects are big, right? So whatever, whether it be small or large, who owns the data, who has access to the data, that's really important. The other thing is we're seeing a lot of workshops assessments, right? Things like that, Ed, customer education. Because a big part of this is, by the way, this hit customers relatively in the, in, relatively recently, and they're trying to figure out what it means to them. So at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to, can solution providers show the customers proof of value? We know the technology will work, but is it gonna produce the value they expect? Matt, let's move to you. How are you using this data to improve our customer base? Um, well, so, you know, a big part of the, the channel company is our commitment to the technology market and to the broader channel. Um, and, you know, the type of research that iPad and, and Mark have conducted is so important, right? It's, 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 it's a leadership role. So we're trying to help them navigate through an exciting but slightly unknown sort of territory or choppy waters, as it were. Uh, and that's a big part of our role, right, is to help the market understand what is going on, what the opportunities are, what the business value is. Uh, because once people have ticked those boxes and you see adoption pretty rapidly, and if you think about the broader channel company mission statement, we're deeply committed to the adoption of technology. When people don't understand, they're reluctant. When they do understand, they move forward. Now, I know we have a new brand proposition. Can you elaborate about that? Uh, well, that's a great question, thank you. Um, so, you know, the history of this company is, uh, over the last couple of years, we've had a series of acquisitions and you can almost see it on our website, the way they're kind of bolted on. So, you know, what we've been working on over the last few months is creating a new brand platform, which is a consolidated view. So we don't talk about individual products, we talk about the channel company. Um, and in simple terms, that is, for anyone who's in this uh, wonderful ecosystem of technology, it's where your path to growth. Right, whether that's from you know, data and, and insights that come from our analytics team, whether it's from the work that our consulting team does in kind of go to, go to market messaging, whether it's our ability at events like this to bring communities and buyers and sellers together, you know, whether it's our agency where we can drive qualified demand into those channels of, of customers that want to buy that technology. So it, you know, simply put, it's the path to growth and it's global and it's at scale. And how are you using this data to get new leads? Well, so there's several types of data in our business. So, so the type of data that Mark's been talking about, yeah, that, that's about thought leadership. Um, and that's us understanding what's going on. That feeds the editorial teams, it feeds the sales teams. It, it kind of gives us the right to, to have the conversation with our customers. Another form of data that we're driving is what we call first party data. That comes from these events, it comes from all of our websites. And what we're doing there is we've built a pretty sophisticated model where we're understanding which companies are in market at any given time for a certain type of technology or a certain type of product. 
and then we're driving leads, qualified leads against that and we're passing that back off to, you know, to our marketing partners as high intensity or high propensity to buy. All of that kind of exists, partly because of the channelytics work, but also the fact that you know, we're 42 years in this space and we've got a database of every MSP in the world and we understand who are the right MSP. So data makes its way all the way through our value chain uh, and it, I think it differentiates our solution sets. Matt, Mark, thank you so much for joining me here today. I definitely learned a lot, a lot of great information. Well, thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned to the AI in Action Digital Newsroom for continual coverage. I'm Kenneth Johnson from the Channel Company.